All right, we're going to go through the structures in an articulated skull. So here's an articulated skull. You pop its top off, looking down into it, it'll look like this. This is the anterior cranial fossa. This is the middle cranial fossa. This is the posterior cranial fossa. Come back over here. We can see this line here. This is the coronal suture. This is the sagittal suture. Back here is the lambdoid suture. And on the side here is the squamous suture. Squamous suture would be right here. Then we have the fissures, so looking straight into the eyes. This is the superior orbital fissure. This is the inferior orbital fissure. Uh, then we have the cavities. These are the right and left orbits. This is the nasal cavity and here oral cavity and of course if you pop the top off you get to the cranial cavity so this whole thing would be the cranial cavity all right Ugh, poor skull let's go through the bones here is the frontal bone very wide oop, thick area here is the frontal squama and then the edge here that is the uh, supraorbital margin. The parietal bones are on the top, so here's one of the parietal bones. The other parietal bone is over here. The occipital bone is in back. So here is another view of the occipital bone from inside the skull. There's the uh, foramen magnum. These little holes here and here are the hypoglossal canals. Here and here are the uh, jugular foramen. Um, flip it upside down. This bump here, that is the occipital, uh, external occipital protuberance. That is, of course, the foramen magnum. And then the smooth areas on either side of foramen magnum, these are the occipital condyles. Uh, from here we go to the temporal bone. So temporal bone on the side. Will we get a good view of it? I hope so. So, uh, so here is the temporal bone. Temporal bone has this opening here that is the external acoustic meatus. This piece of tissue here that is the mastoid process, the tiny little point way back there that is the styloid process. And this part here is the zygomatic process. There's a little depression right here, a little depression right here. That is the mandibular fossa. Turn it upside down. We can see that between the styloid process and the mastoid process is the stylomastoid foramen. And then this is the carotid foramen for the carotid artery. And then from here on the inside, so inside the skull, above the jugular foramen, we have the internal acoustic meatus. So on the outside, it's the external acoustic meatus. On the inside, it's the internal acoustic meatus. All right, from temporal bone, we have the sphenoid bone. So all of this here, 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 this is all sphenoid bone. You can also see the sphenoid bone on the side of the skull over here. You can also see the sphenoid bone in the back of the orbit. So way back there and there is sphenoid bone. So looking at the sphenoid bone here, this depression here, this is the cella tersica. These openings here and here are the optic foramen. This part of the tissue here is a lesser wing, so we have two lesser wings. And then down here, all of this tissue here and here is greater wings. If we look in, we see the uh, foramen rotundum, foramen ovale, foramen spinosum, and foramen lacerum. So again, foramen uh, rotundum, foramen ovale, foramen spinosum, foramen lacerum. Um, and then if we turn this upside down, this tissue here, all this tissue here and here, this is the pterygoid processes. 
And then again, if you look straight into the orbit, we can see that supraorbital fissure, which is part of the sphenoid bone. All right, from here we go to the ethmoid bone. The ethmoid bone, we can see um, here, we can see the ethmoid bone at the top of the nasal cavity up there. We can also see the ethmoid bone right here. This is ethmoid bone. Ethmoid bone, inside the skull we have the cribriform plate and the cristagalli. So the point is the cristagalli. On the inside of the orbits here, this is the lateral mass. We have a right and left lateral mass. Look up at it in here. We see those two higher bumps, the two higher bumps here and here. Those are the middle nasal concha. And then the top part of this bone is the perpendicular plate of the ethmoid. And um, from here, we also see the bottom part of this bone. That here is the vomer. And then the lower bumps on either side are the inferior nasal concha. These are separate bones, inferior nasal concha. Um, over here on the side, this area here is the zygomatic bone. This part of it is the temporal process. So the temporal bones zygomatic process and the zygomatic bones temporal process together form a larger structure called the zygomatic arch. And then, of course, we have the maxilla, so all the way up here and over and across. This is all maxilla. Maxilla has the, um, dang it, gotta turn the page. Maxilla has the alveolar process. The rid that holds the teeth is the alveolar process. Maxilla has the infraorbital uh, foramen, infraorbital foramen. Uh, it also has the inferior orbital fissure. And then if we turn this upside down, this part here and here are the palatine processes. They form the anterior part of the hard palate. And while we're down here, we can also see the palatine bone. So from here to up here, this is all palatine bone. The flat part here is the horizontal process, uh, plate. And the part going up the side is the perpendicular plate. So horizontal plate, perpendicular plate of the palatine bone. And there's two of them, right and left. And then, of course, we finally have the mandible. Here is the mandible, maybe. Okay. The ridge where the sockets for the teeth are is the alveolar process. If we go to the side here, this smooth area here is the condylar process, fits into the mandibular fossa, the temporal bone. This is the mandibular notch down here. This is the uh, coronoid process, so coronoid process, mandibular notch, condylar process. Um, all of this bone tissue here is the ramus, this little line on the edge here is the angle. All of this bone tissue all the way around is the body. That is the mental foramen. And then on the inside, over here, is the mandibular foramen. So we have a right and left, up. Oh, get back in focus, right and left mandibular foramen. Uh, does not want to stay in focus. Anyway, it's there, mandibular foramen, right here. There's one on the other side as well. And that is the bones of the skull.